as you take this anointing water, that problems in the kidney is receiving solution from now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be healed. In your kidney, be healed. I command every soul part of your body now to return to normalcy. Be healed in Jesus' name. Out, you kidney problems. Receive your healing right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. You are free. I want to see you. I want to follow this child's case until the end. She is going to be free, and you are coming back for a testimony. She is too precious to be lost in life. So I'd like to see you tomorrow morning by 10. I will see you. My daughter is free. My, thank you, Lord Jesus. My daughter is free. Shall we jam those beautiful hands together to the glory of God? Jam those beautiful hands together to the glory of God. To God be the glory. We just saw how God moved through the faculties of his servants. To demonstrate his healing power upon this girl. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is indeed the power of God in action. Amen. Now let us hear from the mother and the daughter to know how far and how much God has been faithful to them ever since the man of God, Senior Pastor Peter Israel, prayed for them. More grace to everybody. My name is Esumike, blessing. I'm here to testify what the Lord has done in our life. Since September last year, my daughter just woke up one morning and her body became swollen from her to her toe. She cannot eat, she cannot pee, she cannot go to the toilet. She was hospitalized from different hospitals. They just advised us to take her home to be feeding her until she died. I rejected it immediately. Until one of my faithful brothers invited me to this church that I should bring her here. Yeah, there is nothing God cannot do. Oh, really, really, I brought her here on Tuesday. They booked her on prayer line. So on Wednesday of it, we are on prayer line. When the man of God, prophet, uh, pastor, Israel, Baseki prayed for her. And ever since then, there is nothing like that. I give God the glory. God has healed her. If you know you are touched by this testimony, jam your hands together to the glory of God. What a mighty God we serve. Are you just sitting and looking like that? If you believe the miracle working God, jam your hands together and shout a better hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, our Lord is good. Amen. I will just with you, Mama. I will just with you with your testimony and I will just with your daughter. I pick something from what a man of God said, Pastor Israel of Baseki. He said, You will come. And testify and today you are here testifying tell your neighbor you will come and testify so let us hear for your daughter what if your daughter have anything to say to the glory of god are you happy yes thank you very much god bless you in jesus name so mother how is she now ever since then everything is going well now ever since then she's doing every other thing she cannot do before and I have never used any medication on her. I only use that anointed water to bath her, use anointed oil to rub her. Every other medication we have been using before, I just throw them away. I just say, God, I hand over this child to you. He, do it for me so that I will come and testify. That is the reason I'm here. Somebody shout the anointing water. 
Shut it very well. The anointing water. water. Amen. God has used that medium to bring healing and deliverance to his children. That is why your faith must be attached each time you are ministering the anointing water. Just like what our mother said, says since then she has been using ministering the anointing water to the child. She has not using any medication. Why? Her faith was lifted. As you have listened to this testimony, God will give you that or you know testimony in the name of Jesus. So what advice do you have to share with us and those watching you through the internet? The advice I have to share is that everybody should have faith in God. There is nothing God cannot do. 